very warm good morning everybody and namaste to you all and in today's session i'm going to talk about uh, the listening tips and tricks usually the students have a lot of problem regarding the listening examinations so i just wanted to make one small presentation in today's session all right as you all know that the listening test lasts for all together 40 minutes of time so within this 40 minutes of time you will get 30 minutes to listen the audio so far and you get extra 10 minutes time to transfer the answer onto the answer sheet. There are a lot of confusion regarding the listening test for most of the students. So when they face the listening examination, when they, you know, like do the listening test, uh, they usually get a lot of, you know, like confusion. So I really wanted to erase all those confusion in today's session, right? So, uh, let's see the most easiest way to find the answer regarding the listening test. I just wanted to present one small demo. Alright, so uh, now look here. Uh, firstly, the most important thing is like you have to understand the question and what the question is asking you, okay? So, the time has been given for you to see the questions like the audio says. Uh, see question 1 to 5, for example, for instance, like so within the time, for example, the, uh, the audio will speak it about, about the, let's say, the uh, questions. So on that very moment, you need to understand the questions very distinctly. For example, so the question, what the question has asked, what does a briefcase look like? The major part of the question is look like, okay, out here. So and then you see second question, which picture show the distinguishing feature, okay? The major part, the keyword of the question is this, right? You can see all these questions instantly with the time we, where you are given the half of a minute, okay? So on that very moment, you need to understand the questions distinctly. Then only you will be able to find out the answer. For example, you see question number one, as the audio plays, you just listen it and find out the correct answer. For instance, Lost property, can I help you? Oh, yes. I've had my briefcase stolen. Okay, I'll take some details. Tell me what it looks like, first of all. Well, it's a soft leather one, you know, not a heavy box type like a man's. Mm -hmm. So the audio clearly says that it's not heavy box type like a man. You need to immediately cross these two answers, right? Now you have only two options. So within A and B, A and C, right? So the thing is that you give an eye look, quick eye look, you see the double buckle out here and the single buckle out here. What the audio is speak, go through it. And how does it close? It's got buckles at the front, two of them. They're gold-plated ones. Fine. Uh, was it locked? No, I'm afraid not. Never mind. Any distinguishing features? Pardon? Any marks or badges on it that make it stand out? Uh, only the brand name. And where's that? It's on the back, at the bottom in the left-hand corner. It's saggy. Oh, and there's a scratch. It's quite bad, but small, directly above the brand name. I did it recently, putting it on my bike. Right, got that. So what is the answer of question number two? You see, saggy, you see the saggy everywhere, but it is clearly said that shaggy, and just above the saggy, there is a scratch on the left hand corner. When you see this thing, like A, B, C, and D, where do you find the left hand? So the place from where you are standing, the left side is this, and just above it, there is a scratch. So the correct answer is C. That means what you need to understand when you do the listening test, you have to listen it very carefully and how the, you know, like audio is presenting the instruction. That's very important. So let's go to question number three. What did C have inside her briefcase? Look here, wallet, pains and noble, paper and wallet, pains and noble, paper, pain and noble. So let's listen the audio carefully and take the correct answer. So, what did you have inside the briefcase? Well, all my papers from college. It's so frustrating, but thank goodness for computers. I haven't lost them completely. Yes, you're lucky. I had my wallet in my pocket, so I didn't lose that. But there were also my pens, which I got for my birthday, and a novel I was planning to read on the train. Right. The student might get confused regarding these questions because the audio speaks regarding wallet as well at the same time. But you need to understand she didn't lose the wallet and the question is asking you what did she have inside her briefcase. So the fact is that she says that she has the pen 
and later on she thanked that she didn't lose this wallet and noble because it's all in the computers and later she says that she has also the pain and noble lately she said the answer that's why the correct answer would be number d the correct answer is number d that's it